Hello, here's Rebecca. Oh, hello, Nicholas. Thank you so much for calling. <laughs> and how are you? Um, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> and you? <laughs> I'm great because I'm at home. <laughs> ah, home is always good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, thank you so much for your activity. Um, because of, with the boycott, I mean, we it is it means so much to have your support for all of us here. Um, so, uh, basically, I wanted to talk to you about um, two things. One is whether you could comment for our site, um, the letter and how it's going. And um, the second one is maybe so we in Ukraine, human rights activists, could help with this boycott by writing letters to politicians. Um, so, does that sound like a good agenda for you? Um, so I have already written uh, mm -hmm. comments uh, on this uh, letter and why I'm in favor of this political boycott. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's it's not a total comp uh, boycott uh, for the um, championship what we are advocating because we think it's it, it's simply too late and it, it never works. Mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, but the political boycott to argue uh, that um, to say that, to ask that um, heads of states and heads of governments um, and uh, so well-known ministers should not uh, do a favor to Putin and go for handshake situation uh, in the huge stadium and to the global public. Uh, this is something what has a lot of support um, among politicians and also in the world of sports. So, mm -hmm. um, not to uh, not to give the responsibility for all this shit to uh, to the fans and to the players, but um, to refuse uh, doing favors to Putin uh, in in this very uh, global moment for him um, during during the championship. Mm -hmm. And on the um, w why we do this uh, and why we wrote the letter. Um, I have written two comments already, two, two op-eds, um, and they are they have been published in uh, Deutsche Welle in several languages, mm -hmm. and um, also in German newspapers. Mm -hmm. So it would be for me very difficult to write a third one. <laughs> okay, well um, may, maybe it's always the same. Uh -huh, I see. Well, but you can use it. You okay. can you can use it. Yeah. I I can use your comments uh, that you're yes. telling me. We, we can forward it to you. We can okay. we can forward the existing um, uh, op-eds, and I think the letter you have already got. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we have the yes. letter already. Well, um, maybe you can say um, some politicians say that instead we we should use these political events to build bridges to have a dialogue. What would you answer them? My first answer is always uh, the experience uh, with uh, Sochi and the Winter uh, Games, um, the Winter Olympic Games mm -hmm. uh, in uh, in 2014. Mm -hmm. Only three days after these uh, games, which are dedicated uh, to uh, global peace and friendship, only three days after the final ceremony. Uh, we saw Putin sending his troops uh, to occupy Crimea, mm -hmm. and a uh, short time later, uh, the, the war um, against Ukraine in Donbass also started. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think um, from this moment on, nobody can really argue that uh, international sports and international sports events will have any impact on uh, Putin's uh, strategy towards or against uh, the West. And we have even meanwhile the experience with his um, brutal intervention in Syria. He's backing uh, the uh, murderer, mass murderer and torturer uh, Assad and uh, the, uh, the, the involvement of Russian army in Syria is connected um, to uh, unbelievable uh, war crimes and crimes against humanity. So another reason why not uh, to uh, believe uh, that uh, sitting in a stadium making uh, friendly faces, shaking hands with Putin uh, is due to or is will be an, an instrument, a diplomatic instrument to change something. 
My main argument uh, is uh, that, yes, we need a new initiative uh, towards Russia. We need a diplomatic and political offensive. Uh, but the tables for this are organized in Minsk and uh, in Geneva. Mm-hmm. And um, so uh, I, I don't think uh, that uh, for Russia uh, and for Russians, it would be a real and a true uh, favor uh, to make Putin great uh, for the politics he stands for right now. Mm-hmm. And this is what he wants with this uh, show. Uh, around the championship. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Uh, so, uh, how do you? This is all. Yeah. This is all covered in the in the in the op-ed I have written. Um, I can also, but this is in German. I gave a long interview to mm-hmm. the most important uh, magazine for football in Germany. Mm-hmm. It's called Eleven Friends. And it's especially uh, written, it's especially um, read uh, by uh, young and um, uh, crazy uh, football fans <laughs> and also for um, the intellectuals, which mm-hmm. gave, uh, which give a lot um, so attention to football. You know, Germany is re- really a crazy football nation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes, they, they, they had very high scores in the, in the last FIFA, right? Germany. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, So thank you very much for all these interviews. I hope that your message will come to come across Mm. to those people that need it. Mm. And but uh, about your letter, what kind of reaction has it had? Have any other political leaders um, responded? No. So far, I have to check maybe with my office, but so far we have not uh, got something. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. in your, so many politicians yeah. already, it started already in the European Parliament. So, you know, we have this uh, group of friends of mm-hmm. Ukraine, mm-hmm. and many of them signed the letter, mm-hmm. especially, I think, the whole Polish EPP delegation is mm-hmm. uh, under the letter, mm-hmm. um, and also uh, ECR people from Poland. Mm-hmm. And um so the the core group of friends of Ukraine normally they stand together in this issue. Uh, from Germany, um, I got only the Greens to sign the mm-hmm. letter. Even my close friends uh, from EPP, they did not sign. From German EPP, the Merkel Party, arguing that or not arguing, it's not as rational as an argument. It, they said, but Rebecca figure out what will happen if our boys make it to the final. And I said, so it's easy. You can see it. You can see it from public screening in Berlin, or you can even um, see it in Brussels. You have not Mm. to go. But um, for them, it's um, the, the, the truth is, if our team is successful, Mm. every politician wants to be close to them to get a bit so this um light uh, and this um uh this uh, how do you call it this um they want to profit as politicians from the successes in sports yeah mm-hmm. right you want to be close to the heroes of the people mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's an understandable, of course, um, feeling. I'm so, I'm not sure. So I'm I think even in uh, among uh, the players there are several who understand mm-hmm. uh, that the FIFA decision was wrong from the very beginning, mm-hmm. and uh, that uh, Putin is not a man to honor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean, there, there's no hope that the team will not go, but at least maybe the politicians. Um, so, um, but in your open for those... if, so, for example, I even opened a door for those normal politicians, so not well known. If they they want to go, they can they can connect it to their uh, political uh, attitude towards Russia. They could say, okay. We will sit in a stadium, not with Putin, but with the fans. Uh, but uh, to do this, uh, for us, it's necessary to get uh, permission to visit uh, Zentsov or other political prisoners of Putin in the camps. 
Mm-hmm. So this would be um, so I would I would say um, something I could even honor, yeah? mm-hmm. uh, but only to go and to sit there uh, I think it's not acceptable and mm-hmm. it's also not it's so it's they do not risk a lot if they uh, in poly, in in sports uh, have the same show the same attitude as in plenary in the European Parliament. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so how how many people do you think would be willing to go there and, for instance, visit the political prisoners? Because I have no I have no clue. I have uh-huh. not heard about it so uh-huh. far. Uh-huh. Um, uh, but I think that's actually a very good idea because we were thinking of how maybe to use this tournament to raise awareness about the prisoners. Um, maybe this is what, something what I'm preparing, yeah. by the way. Uh-huh. So it's but you cannot yet publish it. It will be okay. published only shortly before uh, the the games. Uh-huh. We will do a very good. We we developed uh, something very good for the internet together with Memorial, uh-huh. and we will cooperate with them. So. Everybody who goes uh, to Russia uh, for the championship will be able uh, to receive with a very easy tool all information on all political prisoners in Russia. Uh huh. Oh, wonderful. So it's an app, right? It's, um, uh, I, it will be a page in the Internet. Okay, I, I, okay. I, I cannot give you the technical details. I'm really very stupid on uh, these uh, Internet tools. Uh-huh. Uh, but as Soon as I can publish it, you will be the first to know it <laughs> okay. because it fits to it fits very good, uh, very well to mm-hmm. the um, uh, "Let My People Go" uh, campaign. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, thank you very much. And um, I was maybe there is something else that we can do before the game starts to raise awareness about the prisoners. Any ideas? I mean, we would be glad to try to implement them. Yeah. So um, I think. Um, there are some cases which deserve um, and can easy, easily be highlighted. Mm-hmm. So um, I think uh, especially among the intellectuals who, fall, who love also in Germany normally football, there mm-hmm. are no, no limits. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so mm-hmm. even I myself, in the end, if the boys are playing well, I'm sitting with my friends and uh, follow them, mm-hmm. <laughs> follow the games. But... Um, so, for the intellectuals, I think the case of Zensov is still uh, very important mm-hmm. uh, because um, I think uh, relatively many people, because of uh, the activities of uh, cinema directors and organizations like Berlinale, they know already the case, mm-hmm. uh, but they have forgotten. So, mm-hmm. it, it, it's it's interesting how fast people are able to forget information right. they once already picked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, do you do you know maybe some what the format could be for to get this information to them? Because we can publish it on our site, but will they read it? Um, so maybe there is a better way to bring this across. Mm. What would be what I think what would be um, a very good um, way to address um, this? Nothing about the tool, but the, what what is as a strategy would be mm-hmm. nice would be if uh, you, together with Russian human rights activists, could do mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. This is immediately a better um, platform than if only the Ukrainians are doing it. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. There's right now there's a lot of attention for was a lot of t- attention for the protest in Russia mm-hmm. before the nice and great inauguration. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, thanks. Well, that's an idea. I will check out how realistic that yes, is. Yes, yes. Um, okay, uh, Rebecca, but um, what do you think about, for instance, writing letters to select politicians for asking them to not go? Yeah, so um, we can – have you got the letter we have sent out? Um, well, yeah, we, we've seen the open letter that's yeah. signed by 60 yeah. MEPs, yeah. Yes, yes. And if you do similar things, um, I think it would be good. It would be really great mm-hmm. if this would be done uh, in a common action by uh, Russians, um, Russian human rights activists, and mm-hmm. Ukrainians. It would be perfect. Okay, that's okay. Wonderful. Um, so, any ideas on which politicians we should target? I think uh, heads of states um, and uh, heads of governments. 
Uh -huh. okay. Because they count for Putin. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what Putin wants is uh, big heads. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think, for example, yesterday he he decided uh, to invite uh, only um, Schröder because uh -huh. he knew uh, if he invites somebody else and they wouldn't come, he would have a problem. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, hmm. Okay, so um, if you have yeah. a yeah, yeah, th that's a very good idea to do this common with Russians. I will ask how we can do mm -hmm. this, and um, maybe if you have ideas of who exactly would be realistic to approach in the governments, maybe you know somebody is wavering, and we can direct a letter to them. Um, I would be grateful if you could send that information. Yeah, it depends very much then in the end uh, on the development uh, of the championship. Uh, mm -hmm. Because normally uh, the heads of states are joining if their, um, uh, if their team is uh, mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those who are not involved, they will probably anyway not go. Mm -hmm. But so this you have to check. So which are the teams from uh, Europe and uh, mm -hmm. whom to address there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you yeah. very much, Ms. Harms. Then I will try to see what we can do together with Russians. <laughs> you can call yeah. me Rebecca as before. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you, Rebecca. Um, see you. Well, yes. Have a yeah. very good day and see you. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye.